Welcome to part 5 of the VIL Getting Started video series. Here, we'll discuss facilitation examples. This video covers the pacing of our curriculum, as well as three different ways to facilitate the class. Online, blended, and guided. Each VIL course takes about 10 weeks to complete, assuming 5 50-minute class periods per week. The courses are broken down into four units, or in this time travel theme, eras. Each era consists of multiple parts, and each part consists of multiple lessons or missions. A mission takes about one class period to complete. Notice that as the projects progress throughout the class, there are more missions for each project as the projects increase in rigor throughout the course. The facilitator guides are a great place to familiarize yourself with the pacing for each set of missions. It will tell you the total number of class periods needed to teach the section, as well as break down the number of class periods mission by mission. Before teaching a lesson, prepare with these helpful tips. Each mission should take about one class period. Before teaching, review that mission's facilitator guide. Ensure your students have access to all the materials and logins listed in the facilitator guide, and try the mission out yourself a day or two before using the teacher's edition or the student version of the course. One way to facilitate this course is completely online and self-guided by the students. This technique would work best for remote learning, independent and self-sufficient students, and after-school or extracurricular programs. Students would simply log on to Canvas and complete all of the student guides, activities, and checkpoints in the order that they appear. It's still recommended that students take about one to two days per mission in order to complete the self-guided pacing. There are two ways a teacher can set up the Canvas course for self-guided work. First, a teacher could simply publish missions as students go along. In this example, a student completed mission three so the teacher is now publishing mission four for that student to complete. Alternatively, a teacher may choose to publish all student-facing content at the beginning of the course. So a student could access content later in the course, in the middle of the course, or at the beginning of the course at their discretion. Our recommended technique for this course is hybrid or blended learning, a combination of self-guided and facilitated lessons and activities. This technique is best for day-to-day -day instruction, in-person instruction, remote learning, and balancing support with student independence. Example, good morning class. Today, log on to Canvas and go to Era Zero, Mission Four. Select the student guide for Mission Four. Once you have opened the student guide, scroll down to the warm-up question. Write your answer to the warm-up question on a separate sheet of paper. We will return as a whole class and discuss this question together. For the remainder of class, work quietly with a partner to watch the rest of the videos and answer the questions in the student guide. At the end of the student guide is the student activity. The activity instructions are also located on Canvas. When you have completed the student activity, go to your Canvas account and submit a picture of your activity there. Hello class, today we will be starting our first projects of ERA 1. Log on to Canvas and scroll down to Part 3, Mission 1 of ERA 1. In the student guide, you'll notice there are three different project overviews. Today, you will read and review each of these project overviews. Then, you will choose the project choice that's best for you. The third facilitation technique we'll discuss in this video is guided or traditional teaching. Guided facilitation is best for classes that require a lot of structure and guidance, or if you just prefer the traditional I do, we do, you do approach. In this example, I am presenting this mission to the class using a projector. I call on a student to answer the warm-up question. Then we can move through the material as an entire class. We can check out this project together and students can take notes as we discuss virtual reality. I can call on another student to read out the objectives for the whole class. And then I can move through my presentation, through the materials, and watch the Edpuzzle video as a class. 
You may prefer to copy and paste the lesson content into a Google Slides or PowerPoint. In this example, I copy and paste the warm-up onto a warm-up slide. I copy and paste the objectives onto another slide. The Edpuzzle link is here. We'll watch that together as a class. Then students have independent work time to log into Canvas, explore the VR scenes, and complete the Wiser activity. Finally, the exit ticket is just the checkpoint questions. I copy and pasted those into the presentation as well. Hopefully you found a facilitation technique or combination of facilitation techniques that are right for you and your students. Thank you and best of luck on your VIL journey.